Good morning, Amy. The top candidates in the 2nd Congressional District clashed at times during a wide-ranging debate Tuesday night, one week before the election. The three-term incumbent Democrat U.S. Rep. Annie Custer is facing Republican challenger Steve Negron, a first-term state representative from Nashua. The candidates met in the debate sponsored by WMUR and the New Hampshire Union leader at the Institute of Politics at St. Anselm College. With more of what happened last night, let's take a look at the video. And it all tonight. Points of difference, points of agreement, substance, style, it was all there. Andy Custer is going for a fourth term. Steve Negron wants to take the second congressional district back into Republican hands. For a full wrap-up of all the action, let's go live to Mike Cronin, who is outside the New Hampshire Institute of Politics tonight. Hey, Mike. Hi, Adam. Both candidates say each other has run a fair and honest campaign, and though there hasn't been much negativity in this race, tonight we did see some contentious moments. It's a race between the incumbent and the newcomer. You've been in office for three terms. Why should voters give you a fourth? Well, I think it's the work that I've done bringing people together, particularly on the opioid epidemic. As much as my opponent believes he's done some work, this opioid issue has gotten worse. Republican Steve Negron and Democrat Annie Custer sparred on the federal deficit, immigration, and improving opportunities in the North Country. When I talk to people up there, uh, you know, they're... They say, where is my congresswoman? Where is she? I think the highway funding that I've been able to get for bridges and for miles of roads up there, the telecommunications, uh, we were able to get those four towers. On abortion and what role government should play. For the government to force a woman to carry a pregnancy to term, I presume Mr. DeGrom means to put a woman in jail for nine months and so that she carries a child to term, I think that is government interference. I don't think I ever said jail. I never said anything about putting anybody in jail. I'll tell you what I do oppose. I do oppose federal dollars going to a private organization to killing babies. They also didn't see eye to eye on how to handle gun laws. 99% of us responsible gun owners, something happens and they throw it at our feet. And that's wrong. What we have here is a mental health issue. It isn't about guns. What I think we can do better is we can close the loopholes for uh, background checks. And uh, my opponent does not want to close the loopholes. And on a lighter note, the Red Sox parade is tomorrow. Which players would you like to be on a duck boat with? I'd like to be with the manager, uh, Corey. He's from Puerto Rico, and I did, did a hell of a job. Hell of a job. <laughs> that we can agree on. <laughs> Red Sox always have a way of bringing New Englanders together. The candidates now only have a week to go on the campaign trail before the voters go to the polls. Adam? Thanks, Mike. And both of these candidates had solid performance. Okay, and there you go on that video on how the debate went down. Reporting live here outside St. Anselm College at the Institute of Politics in Manchester, New Hampshire. I'm Riley King for WMUR News 9. Amy, back over to you.